Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will write a PLSQL blog to generate this kind of report in which I want to display the list of all the managers with their name, department and salary. So first of all, I need to get the list of all the managers. So first of all, let me write the query over here that is select employee name comma salary from employee where employee number in and here I want to select the manager from the employee. So I'm just writing the sub query over here that is select MGR from employee. And here you can write semicolon. You will get list of all six managers. So here there are six manager Ford, Black, King, Johns, Scott and Clark. But I want the department information also. So let me edit the query. So here I want to write over here that is employee E join department D on E dot department number equal to D dot department number and I want name of the department also and here I want that this data in a sorting order of department name. So I'm writing over here that is order by department name and you can just exit and save. And you can run this, you will get the same data that I want over here. That is King, Clark, Cot. But if you look at over here, then Johns, Ford and Black. It means that department wise sorting. If department is the same, then I want salary wise descending order sorting. So let me edit this. And here I want to write that order by department name and salary descending. Let me copy this particular query and let me close this and here you can write slash. Now you can compare King, Clark, Scott, Ford, Johns and Black. Same data available over here. Now I want to generate this kind of report. So let me do the same thing practically in PLSQL. So first of all, I want to write over here that this is the comment. So let me write this in a slash star star slash. Let me set the server output on. So I'm writing over here that is set server output on. Now I want to write over here that is a declare begin and 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 here I want to write the cursor C1 is and now I want to paste the query. So this is the query that I want to retrieve the record one by one. Now here you can write semicolon. Now here you can write the loop. So I'm writing the loop over here that is for I in C1. So I will be the iterator variable which will iterate and retrieve the one by one record from the select statement cursor. And here you can write and loop. Now I want to retrieve the data. So I'm just writing over here that is DBMS underscore output dot put underscore line. Here you can write semicolon. Now here you can write RPED. Now I want to retrieve the employee name so i'm writing here that is a i dot employee name and i want to set the 20 character length over here now here i'm writing the piping r paid i dot department name 20 character length piping symbol r paid i dot salary and here i want to put l paid so i'm writing here that is l paid and total length is 10. Same I want to write over here in the header. So I'm just copying this particular statement and that you can write before for loop. And here you can just mention that this is the name of the employee. So here you can write that employee name. Here you can just write that this is the name of the department. So here you can write that this is department. And here you can write that this is the salary. Now I want to draw a line. So I'm writing here that is DBMS underscore output dot put underscore line. And here you can write L paid. Des I want to repeat for 55 times. And I want to replace with the des. So 55 des will be printed over there. I want to put over here also. And at last also I want to write the des. Let me copy this particular statements. And I want to paste over here in PLSQL. And you will get the report over here that is employee name, department name, salary. But I want the sum of the salary also. 
so for that i need to declare one variable over here and that is variable total salary integer column is equal to zero here you can just write that variable total salary column equal to variable total salary plus i dot salary so this salary will be iterate one by one and it will be stored into the total salary variable now you can just copy this statement and here you can just write that this is the total salary l paid of total salary column here you can just write concatenation of variable total salary comma for example you can write here 40 and as this is the left side padding so i need to write over here that is chr of 9 so i'm writing here chr of 9 here you can just concatenate with the piping symbol you can just copy this particular statement and you can paste over here in plsql and you will get the report over here but total salary is not exactly below the salary so for that i need to give the two more spaces over here so let me move over here and let me provide here that is the 42 so now i'm just copying all these statements again and you can paste over here in plsql and you will get the report over here that this is the list of managers now i want to write over here let me copy this statement and here you can paste and you can write over here that this is the list of managers and here you can just copy this particular line and you can paste over here now you can copy all this statement and you can paste over here in plsql and you will get the result over here that this is the list of managers so now i want to give some spaces over here so i'm writing over here that is chr of 9 here you can use the piping symbol you can write over here that is l paid and you can give the left side padding of for example 25 and now you can copy all this statements and you can paste over here in plsql and you will get the result that exactly that you want so this is the way you can write the plsql block to get the list of all the managers with their name department name and their salary so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day